You know, I did play Trash Booty the other day. I actually forgot what this deck is. <laughs> so this is Nazoth Shaman. Uses Spear of the Echo to get more value, aka more Death Rattles. Uh, I don't have some of the really good Death Rattles, like that 5 card Death Rattle, so I have Stone Hill Defender to get me that. Oh no, Ass Man. Ass Man. Ass Man took me away. I'm ready to fly on your butt shaped ship. Rocket to save the day. Watch out, ass man. Calling for your butthole. Gonna find you. Shove a fruit up it. So I could coin out Stone Hill Defender. Uh, but you actually want a Jade Claws here, because if he does adapt one of these, gets the three attack. Um, he ends up killing the Stone Hill Defender and still having one on the board. Uh, whereas if you just use this, you can react right away. You have another damage for the next turn. And, uh, you know, if he wants to trade this, it's not as valuable for him. Unless he gets the plus one, plus one. Pro strats. Oh, you think you're a hot shot? Eh? Whoa, that's a little bit of cheeky board clear. All right, so snipe. Well I can see. Got him. Jaru. Full sweat. Yes. Well, it doesn't work well for me, does it? Ah, uh, can we beat this guy? Probably not. Eggnapa! I think this is a little bit better. You know, I'll take the Eggnapper. I like Eggnapper. He's a good kid. Oh, ah, but you think that can defeat the Eggnapper? Nay, it is only making it stronger. Look at this armor. It's not even gonna matter. I like Spirit of Echoing first. This guy's gonna get the gains in armor. What's up, Eggnapper? Look at that. He's at 48. That's not even that good. Not the scariest thing I'm gonna encounter, but let's end the madness here. I mean, Brawl still isn't that bad, because we are in a Zoth deck. And also, uh, we have low stuff on the board, so I don't want to put something big out when he can just Brawl. Ooh, yep, does the same thing. Alright, maybe I should save the Hex for that. Sorry, this Protect stuff. I can heal that up again. Uh, let's play around for all the... I mean, given the serves a 50-50... Uh... <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention what happened. Let's get the board popping. I'm gonna save the Spirit of Echo for the Nazoth Evolve combo. <laughs> I did not get partnered, I got a... a f I became an affiliate. So, I do have an emote on the way. Let's use it! Three? I think not. Oh no, order! Order! Actually, we don't want the extra minion, right? <laughs> Is that our excuse? Alright, well he has the weapon, he's gonna start flinging eight damage at things, so... We should have done the order correctly. We can't Nazoth next turn now, but we're waiting for the Brawl to Nazoth. The second brawl. The good thing about this deck and about Shaman in general is that you can just keep on stacking the board. This plus evolve would be a good combo, so I think I'm gonna do that now. We have another evolve. We can even cheek around and wait one turn, but I'm not gonna risk it. Huh. Some low rolls, some high rolls. Nice. Alright, that's what we were looking for. I would have loved to save the Evolve for Nazoth, but... Oh! And we high rolled too. Now it's really important that we uh, establish another board really quickly, so... Whatever we get next turn, we need to play it. Hero power. Or just Nazoth. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, does he have a... Uh, what's it called? 
the the type of fan that warrior has just deal one damage to everything if, if he has that minion again that pretty much sucks but all right it's not bad oh he does have it why did he put that down first god damn it <laughs> come on what are the chances that's some bows. I mean, these are great for the hero power, but do we want to hex that? Is he going to have anything bigger? Is there any way to deal with this relatively cheaply? Yes, there is. <sighs> are we going to risk the Evolve Nice? Actually, I don't think he can... Why Why do you have Wind... wind... <laughs> We're just going to Spirit Echo this board because we want to be able to play Nizoth again. I don't know why I didn't consider that. Um, I should have towed him and then done it. Whatever. Man, we might actually win this. Okay. Oh, he doesn't get to choose, though. That's a pretty risky play. Just in case he has some sort of way of getting rid of it, like just the death rattle or silencing it or something like that. Um, and we'll keep this board, because if this gets popped, I want to get some value off of it. There we go. Look at that. This is a really good counter. I didn't think I would do this well. Oh yeah, we're gonna make him draw a shit ton. That was a mistake. I don't care that he's getting value. I want to have the draw advantage, because I think I can beat him now in the long game. Now let's play something chunky like this. He chose to do this instead of hero power that turn. That is odd, to say the least. So I say we punish that. Stonehill uh, We don't want to draw, so let's just second rate bruiser. And then we'll get the minions. <laughs> the minions out on the board. Keeping the totem in the middle. So that it gets the best chance to get some stuff. <laughs> I'm the only streamer you can snipe because my my rank is so bad. <laughs> the likelihood that you'll be able to find a specific person is pretty hard. Add a boy raptor. This is why Eggnapper is the best <laughs> card in the game. Yeah. 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 See, that felt like a good game. And Trash Booty wins again. I've got something in my front pocket for you. Why don't you reach out in my pocket and see what it is? Then grab onto it just for you. Give a little squeeze and say, how do you do? 